my baby's already crying, how long should I leave her in the snoo before I take her out? So that's a really good question because, like I say, it's not a magic bed. And so the bed will respond. And a lot of times, probably most of the time, once it starts rocking faster and shushing louder, your baby will calm down. Unless she's hungry or has a dirty diaper or is uncomfortable or sometimes just needs a hug. Sometimes they need us, right? The bed is, is great. It's like a helper, but it doesn't replace us. And so if you see that the bed is going up and your baby is crying more, and usually you know that within 30, 40 seconds. It doesn't take you a long time to figure out, hmm, this time it's not working. So I guess she needs me. But what I love about the bed is parents say that it actually helps them read their baby's cues better. Because, so say your, your head's on the pillow, it's three in the morning, your baby starts to fuss, snooze starts to respond, and in 20, 30 seconds, your baby's quiet. Well, your head never left the pillow, right? And you now know, you know what? I don't think she's really hungry because she went back to sleep. But if she keeps on crying, you're going to know, well, you know, maybe she's going through a growth spurt. I think she really needs me. And it helps you differentiate in the middle of the night. Does she really need you or, um, or did she just need a little bit more soothing?